In this video, we will learn a couple of important and related uh, concepts in programming. They are uh, state and uh, loop invariant. Let's uh, learn these uh, concepts with an example. Here uh, we have uh, a function called as max. I'm sure you, you, you have all uh, seen uh, this uh, program before. We just want to find the maximum value in an array. Initially, we'll set max to uh, the first value of the array represented by the zeroth index and uh, We'll iterate through each value in the array, compare it with the max. If it is greater than the previous max, we will set the new value of max to the current value. And finally, we will return the maximum value in the array after we have looked at all the values. Great. So now let's um, dig a little bit deeper and uh, maybe see if there is some kind of pattern in here. So first let's learn what state means. So if I uh, Google for state, I can see the particular condition that someone or something is in at a specific time. So in uh, programming, uh, state means uh, the particular condition at which our program is in at a particular line of code when it is being executed. So initially, the value of max is uh, set to the first value of the array. Now, if uh, our array is this, then max is set to 3. So we can think of this as the state of the program in line before line 14, right? So this, this is the condition that our program is in. Okay. Now in the next uh, iteration, uh, I mean once we enter the for loop, we also have uh, this uh, uh, variable i. So now uh, in once we come to line 15 and we are in the first iteration, i is 1 and um, now you can think that uh, the new state of the program is this. Now are uh, all the values that you have looked at so far is 3 and 1. So this is the new state. Let's uh, call it as uh, scene. So scene is an array which is like think of it as like an imaginary, imaginary array to represent everything we have uh, seen so far. So now if these are the two values we have seen and uh, then the maximum value is still 3. So this is the state that we are uh, currently at. And in the next iteration, uh, the max, uh, yeah, in the next iteration, uh, we see the new value 2 uh, because uh, we uh, used uh, the value array of uh, 2, right? Because i is 2. And uh, this is the new state. You can see that uh, this this value itself does not change so you can uh, assume that this array itself does not uh, is not that important uh, as far as the state is concerned so this is the new state and next uh, we have i equal to uh, 3 and that's why we see all these variables 3 1 2 and 10 now the state of max changes because the value of 10 the value 10 is greater than 3 the max value changes so that's it. This is the uh, state of the program. And uh, we can continue until we reach the end. At the end of the loop, the max value will be 11 because it is the largest. And uh, i will be uh, equal to the length of the array. And uh, the scene array will be equal to the original array. So this is the final state of the program. And uh, this is important because uh, we need to check whether we are taking a step in the right direction when we are solving our problem. As you know, computers can execute only one step at a time. Computers don't solve our uh, problem at once, right? Our programs uh, can uh, execute only one instruction at a time. And we need to make sure that after taking each instruction, the state of the program is valid. That is, we, are, we need to verify whether we are taking the step in the right direction so that at the end of our program, we get the desired result. And this is also one of the reasons why printing the variables after each iteration is uh, useful. And if you think in this way, then it will uh, develop your uh, problem solving skills. And uh, it will also help you think very clearly. All right, that's what state means. And as let's go back to the definition. So it says the particular condition that someone or something is in at a specific time. So in this case, you can replace time with uh, like a specific uh, line of uh, code, right? When it is uh, 
int executed. So that's how uh, you can use uh, state and be aware of the state when solving your uh, problems. All right, next we learn about a related uh, concept. It's called as uh, loop invariant, which will also help you make sure that you are uh, solving the problem correctly. As usual, let's go to Wikipedia to see the definition. Yeah, in computer science, loop invariant is a property of a loop that is true before and after each iteration. It's a logical assertion. So let's uh, uh, see it in this example. So loop invariant is a property that is true, right? So it is some kind of property which is which kind of always remains true. So can you think of some property which is always uh, true after every iteration? Yeah, so the, the property that is true is uh, that the max value is always right, right? When it comes to the scene array. So at the end of the uh, first iteration, the max value was 3. Our desired result is 11, right? So the max value is not the desired max value, but among all the values we have seen so far, the max value is correct. So the max value always represents the maximum value we have seen so far, right? And if we if this property holds true in all the iterations until we reach the end, then naturally the max value will also be equal to the desired value. So this is called as the loop invariant, a property that is true at the starting of each loop and also at the ending of each loop. So you can also think uh, in this way as well. Whenever you are solving a problem, check whether there is some property which holds good in uh, at the end of each iteration and if it continues to hold good until the end of the last iteration, whether that will match the desired value. So this is something that you will see in uh, pretty much every uh, program that you uh, solve. So this was a very simple example. Let's take another example. Um, let's see one of uh, the problems that you have seen uh, previously. Uh, the restaurant's uh, table uh, problem and uh, in this case this represents the state the number of uh, vacancies so initially the number of vacancies is uh, the input itself right now uh, let's say we have like two tables of uh, size one and uh, two tables of size two and we come across like a bunch of people two one two one one to do and so on initially uh, vacancies is uh, once two there are two vacant tables of size one two vacant tables of size two by the way i'm assuming that you already watched the previous videos and you already solved the problem if not go back to that problem solve it and come back to this and then the semi vacant twos is uh, zero now when we see the first value we can assume that the scene array is just 2 and now the new value of vacancies will uh, change. So we have only one vacant table of size 2 now. So this is the new state. And uh, now when we add a new customer who requests one table, the value of 1 decreases. So this is the new desired state. So what you can do is, um, even actually even before writing your code you can um, write down the state of uh, your program after every iteration and uh, finally come up with the code which makes sure that the state changes properly so that's how we can use uh, state and uh, loop invariance to solve problems and think clearly 